Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I don't have any dream or message to share today, so I will only share a short teaching about what is happening in the world lately and how we as the church should respond. Brothers and sisters, for us that are watching and waiting for the coming of Jesus, we know the signs that are written in Matthew 24 are being fulfilled before our eyes now. In some of my previous videos, many times I've told us to pray and intercede for the world. For some years, I saw and received a lot of messages through dreams and visions about the coming judgment from God. I've shared those messages on my channel as the warning and the calling to repentance. I believe those messages I saw in the dreams are not only for me, but also for the church or believers. Brothers and sisters, I don't know how to say this, but I saw this phenomenon in the life of Christians or believers in the time we are living right now. In the middle of all chaos and brink of World War III, we as Christians don't feel moved to pray or intercede for the world. I don't know how we can become such a passive, lukewarm, and selfish Christians like this. Brothers and sisters, it is true that God will judge this sinful world, but should we just sit down and do nothing about it. We live such a comfortable, ignorant life. All we think about is ourselves. We don't care about other people, don't even feel led to pray for them that are suffering right now. This is not the heart of the true Christians, I feel. In the scripture we read, God told Abraham about the coming judgments of Sodom and Gomorrah. What did Abraham do? It is written in the scripture that Abraham prayed and interceded for them. He said to God, How if there are ten righteous people there? Are you going to destroy them with the sinful people? Also we read about Moses. Many times he prayed and asked for God's mercy upon Israel. Many times God said that he will destroy Israel because of their rebellions. Moses stand in the gap between God and Israel to hold the judgments. Brothers and sisters, war, pandemic, disasters, and chaos that are happening now are not God's will. Praying for God to hold the judgments on this world is something we must do, and it doesn't mean that we are against God's will. Can we just do nothing seeing innocent people being killed in the war? If we are true Christians, we will be moved to pray for them and pray for war to stop. Many Christians only want Jesus to come and rapture them. But they don't want to pay the price to pray and reach for the lost souls. They only want to live a comfortable, peaceful life. And when Jesus comes, they feel like they will be raptured and escape from the judgments. Brothers and sisters, many of us pray that Jesus will come quickly. I'm telling us the truth now, that if Jesus comes now, many Christians will be left behind. We as the church are not ready. God has shown me many times in the dream that only a few will be raptured. So this must be the warning for us to look and examine our own heart. Are we right with God and with other people? God told us to repent from sins and come back to Him. But we said repentance from sins is not needed to be saved, and we are attacking His true watchmen, servants that call us to repent, slandering and saying evil words toward them while they are praying and interceding for us. God told us to pray and intercede, but we don't want to. We spend lots of time in the world and still in our act of ignorant, passive and lukewarm Christianity. And not only we don't want to pray, I also noticed there also came out another statement from believer that it is sin to pray against God's will, to pray to God to hold the judgments in these end times. So what can we say, brothers and sisters? We are living in a such ignorance to the word of God, even among the people who call themselves Christians. And for us, the true believers of Jesus Christ, keep praying and watching, keep doing what is right, don't follow the way of this world or this false lukewarm Christianity. We must have discernment of who we are listened to. Jesus is coming for the true bride of Christ, the true believers that walk in the obedience to his commandments. That's all I'd like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this could encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. 
If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus our Lord and Savior bless us all. Love you all brothers and sisters and thank you for listening. Bye.